So welcome back to the channel of No Place. Getting into some quick racing. B class. The second attempt of trying to actually just show this person that I'm not here for nonsense. I just wanna have a nice race. He continues with his bullshit. How nice. And so, again with the penalty system, I'm receiving a 2 penalty for something I didn't even do. So, welcome to Yes Marina, North Corkscrew layout, I assume. So, this is the gentleman I now need to look out for. For the duration of the race so i've decided to switch over to the mazda miata um, i won't admit i was hoping to get some meta vibes going on to make it a bit easier for me because i don't want to sound negative but when it comes to driving um, D class and E class cars. I'm very, very bad in those ones. And I would also say X class and also the GT spec, which I love, also bad in those. And you can already see that the pack is just, just gapping me right now. And yeah, my problem with this section comes in where I actually can't. Uh, a bad guy came out of my way. So again, the section of me, the, the, that section where I can't do properly, I'd be worried about the fact that I'm going to struggle in that section. And I was so hoping that that Firestar kit is not gonna ram me. So yeah, maybe it was just a, like a practice thing that he was going through that he now decided to play bumper cars because look how nicely he slots in behind that guy with no no crashing no bumping nothing just and oh never mind and here comes the section i dread mostly and i'm like just way off nope nope just bad bad all over the place for me. Skipping to the last lap of the race, I will say that with my mistakes in this car on this um, track, to still be able to finish the top 10 is nothing to be proud of, but yeah. So, this week's D class racing, I think the Corolla was one of the best cars I had on hand that I was willing to tune and try out and all that jazz um, I managed to do third place in qualifying and then eventually either someone will take me out of um, third place in the podium but besides all of that there's one thing that I actually like doing more than being on the podium is when I'm done with qualifying I figured out how to do rolls with the cars oh and that's a beautiful roll uh, and I managed to be second somebody seemed to have left the session as the camera flies over the grid looks like a full grid we will be racing against as we get into this first first corner in this Honda I think it is the S800 that's actually one of the cars I tried to get into my um, uh, this one of the cars I actually wanted to try out for the week but I just never got around to actually buying one and tuning one up maybe in the next hopper when there's like another uh, big d-class event i will 
we'll check it out but there's one thing i managed to do um there's this guy i suck at driving i started watching a lot of his videos and i noticed that he actually plays uh, mainly with keyboard and since i also play on keyboard i was like and it doesn't use traction control as well and so i decided hey try and do that manual thing at least since i mean i've been playing automatic since this game started and for some reason my game is like insanely jittery at points and i noticed that i had this wallpaper thing um that kept every time the wallpaper switches it just made my game lag up for some reason which was quite annoying and eventually i had to like just disable it and i noticed still cutting into the pit lane there is quite uh gives you quite a bit of advantage and so i will be following lorenzo like for the next lap or two yeah so being behind um lorenzo for a bit and i noticed that <laughs> the two front runners actually collided with each other and opened up a gap for for the three of us actually just to get into the race here but i will still be sticking behind lorenzo for a bit And Kilmore just, he has the fucking 30 balls to come past me like that. And I say like, the Corolla, unfortunately, is like a very, very good car. And if you're using like the Miata, the Miata, um, he's also good. But I just didn't want it to go with what I feel or what is like the meta car to use i just didn't want it to use that um again and again i'm not cutting the pit lane i would have caught up with lorenzo if i did uh skipping a bit ahead to the next beginning of the next lap and i'm looking at it and i was like with still three laps left to go I still didn't learn my lesson by not cutting into the pit lane. Oh, and I went way too late on the brakes. Just messed up my whole line there. Again, it's the start of the new lap. Uh, and this time I figured, hey, follow this man's line um at least i got close enough to his bumper but here's the thing not being used to shifting the car myself and i'm making shifting mistakes and i still want to look behind me for some reason it's just adding unnecessary uh small tip on the backside. i think that was a bit of a decent move if i if i shifted properly i could have just been in the corner better but still nice move that i pulled off i think as someone who's not very confident in driving with manual gears me over revving here even though i did have like a two second lead it's not a mistake you actually want to do well it's the end of the race driver behind me has a four second penalty so yeah being second on the podium not bad well the next race i think this is the toyota 2000 gt if i'm not mistaken this is gonna be a short one because the whole idea was try new cars um drive d-claws you get to experience uh, different uh, you get to experience different layouts different driving styles essentially so in my mind this is a trick layout i'm very familiar with so i 
thought I would have a good chance. I don't think I qualified for this one. And then all hell is breaking loose here in front. Don't stop. And this is the one time I actually managed to roll my car where it wasn't practice. <laughs> I skip ahead to the next uh, lap. And honestly, this section here is... I was a bit weirded out. Maybe I will be going through it at least decently. But at least I'm up to 16th place now. I'll skip ahead to the final corner. And you just see cars being all over the road. And I thought to myself like... This is like the other side you don't see if you play in like the different classes because if you just like me I just kept playing um, like the one class the GT spec and you kind of miss out on this kind of the racing where everyone is like a bit um, you know just trying different stuff and trying to race nicely with each other and stuff like that uh, playing dirty with each other playing you know just trying to be better than the other person and I see the golf is trying to cut grass for some reason and yeah my shifting is so bad I was like yeah how are you supposed to be competitive with shifting like that and my roof is all dented now because I rolled the car. Yeah, I thought another bloodbath is coming, but okay. It is what it is. Almost being sandwiched and it just, you know, at least the one drive has a penalty, the two has a penalty. So I was good at least if I thought to myself sticking close to them, I will at least gain those two positions. Yo, yeah, but I think this is a... Lamborghini does go on the left if I'm not mistaken and to see that he is actually speed wise like good but it doesn't look like he's good in the corners though oh and they're bumping each other yeah but I think I at least um, trying to get past these two guys and I was like oh don't recreate what happened in the first <laughs> or the first lap but sticking close to them would at least grant oh the golfs he was drifting way too much and that's what I was worried about for myself because I don't have any race tires on I have sport tires on and that actually made me worry that it may end up happening to me yeah, so on to the last section with no penalties. And I managed to get 11th. Ugh, I don't think if I was Lance Stroll, I, I, I doubt I would have had points. As for one of the cars, did I build, did I actually love the sound of this has to be the worst car I built for the week. But on the other end, only reason I'm showing this is because whomever watched the Chinese Grand Prix, I'm gonna pull a lance, uh, lance troll by punting that guy and mooring him out of the way. Like, I have no excuse for that shit. I know the car's brakes are bad, but I have no excuse for that shit. So, sorry for lance trolling that guy. But. The rest of the race is a wash, like super bad. Thank you for watching the weird video if you made it to the end of um, my D class session. Hopefully next week with the uh, new hoppers I won't be lance trolling people. And I'll see you guys with some more content from my side, so have an awesome one.